roads are described as the arteries through which a country's economy pulses. By linking producers to markets, workers to jobs, students to school, and the sick to hospitals, roads are vital to any development agenda. In recent times, scenes of roads being washed away after severe weather events or frequent images of wear and tear have raised questions on how to build resilient roads. The CSIR is investigating how current road surfaces can be adapted by looking at a range of aspects such as materials, temperature and location. Researcher Rufila Mugwena's study pulls skills from various fields within the CSIR, including road engineers, pavement material specialists, climate modelers, and geographic information system specialists. Each road has different layers, and each layer needs to be designed um, so that it can sustain traffic loading. Um, not just traffic loading, but also environmental loading, which is a part of the investigation that we looked at in terms of temperature, the effects of temperature on material selection for asphalt pavements. We study the material properties to make sure that it's adequate enough to be able to sustain different types of load. As part of an asphalt mix design, road engineers use pavement temperature maps for specifying the correct binder to be used for road construction projects in a given geographical location. They run different types of tests in a laboratory setting to understand the material's performance in field conditions. The tests also assist in assessing and quantifying the response of road materials to various loading conditions. The results allow them to make decisions on how to effectively and sustainably use the materials for road construction. One of the road materials that is used is bitumen, which can be described as the glue or binder that holds aggregate stones together to create the asphalt surfacing that we drive on. Historically, we used to select bitumen based on whether the bitumen is hard or soft. So for certain environments, very, very hot areas, we'll select a very hard binder or hard bitumen. For very cold environments, we'll select a soft bitumen. So it was simple, but the world has changed. There's a lot more traffic on our roads. In the South African scenario, there is um, very few cargo that goes via the rail system. Everything is on our roads. Okay? So the M3 between Durban and Joburg has carried the equivalent of 20 years traffic in just two, three years. So the traffic levels are immense, more than what these roads were designed for. The CSIR's expertise in climate modeling and earth system observations helps to understand how future temperatures will change as well as other weather patterns that will have an effect on road design and construction in order to optimize and inform current and future transport infrastructure planning. We do a simulation of the climate system at various time scales, starting from daily time scales to weekly as well as to intermediate time scales up to the climate time scale which is more of a long uh, time scale projection of the climate system. For different uh, sectors like infrastructure, road systems as well as um, dams, we are able to provide projections that can inform you in terms of how they are likely to respond to climate change. For instance, when you have extremes in precipitation as well as extremes in temperature, we can associate them with real impacts on the ground. Researchers have played an important role in investigating materials that are suitable to weather the storm. Their work includes collaborating with over 100 weather stations across South Africa to look at previous weather conditions in order to recreate maps reflecting each region's climate, which provides guidance for engineers who build roads and make roads more resilient and adaptable as temperatures rise. About 10 years ago, we started research on performance grade specifications. And what it means is simply a way of grading bitumen as per their performance requirements for a given area and climatic conditions. Now these, these performance grade specifications were introduced last year in the country 
and there is the culmination of all that 10 years worth of work. So the question has always remained as to whether was, is the past data the right data to use? Because if you're constructing a road today, you're constructing it for, for the future. The team has answered this question through Mugwena's research, looking at the type of binders needed to make roads more adaptable for a changing climate. What we found was that changing climates, a changing climate uh, will have an effect on the material that you choose for um, pavement design. There is a difference between look, using historical data, historical temperature data, and um, expected temperatures as a result of climate change. So what we looked at was looking at how much is that change and what sort of effect that would have on selecting your binder material for an asphalt pavement. Mukwena's methodology and findings have earned her the Best Paper Award at the Conference on Asphalt Pavements for Southern Africa in 2019. Titled Adapting Asphalt Pavements to Climate Change Challenges and co-authored by the CSIR's George Zmturi, Johan Maritz, Johan O'Connell and Dr. Johan Malhaber. The research has also helped the Department of Environmental Affairs adopt this approach into their strategic research documents.